beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a Halloween makeup collection from Makeup Revolution this is their twisted fantasy collection they were kind enough to send over the entire collection to me at least I think this is the entire collection they sent one of those cool big PR boxes there's an eyeshadow palette three liquid eyeliners and then four different lip options this collection is currently available you can find it online on the Makeup Revolution site and you can also find these in stores in Walgreens. I'm not sure if this will come to Ulta, if this will be at any other retailers, but I'm going to keep an eye out. I'm going to look around online. I'll link these products down in the description box from whatever retailers have them available. So I want to show you everything close up. We're going to do swatches. I'm going to do lip swatches. And I also have an eyeshadow tutorial for the super shiny, spooky look that I'm wearing today. I wanna give you all the details and I'm gonna give you all my thoughts along the way. So let's, so let's start with the lips. First up is this Bitten Kiss Lip Oil. This is priced at $7 and this goes on completely clear. You'll see me apply it later on in the video during the tutorial portion, but I wanted to show you a close up of this. It's so cool. It looks like a little test tube vial and it has these little blood looking droplets floating around inside, but this does apply completely clear. And this has a light sweet scent. It sort of smells like a soapy vanilla to me, which I, I find it pretty pleasant. Has this weird, very flat paddle applicator. Next, we're going to the Vampire Kiss Lip Stain. This is also priced at $7. And this also has a very blood-like appearance, although this one actually does stain the lips red. It has a huge cupped doe foot applicator, which I don't think is the best applicator for this product, but it, it still worked. It's just not what I would prefer. I'd like something a little bit smaller and more like a pointed detail applicator. And this one also smells really good. It smells like a fruit punch with like a tinge of cough syrup, which I know doesn't sound very appetizing, but it's better than the lip kit that I'm going to show you later. Now we have the Enchanted Kiss Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. The butterfly on there is actually a ring that you can take off. It's a little adjustable ring. I just thought it was cute, so I left it on for showing you how cute it looks. And I'm not gonna wear it as a ring, but it's there, just so you know. The glittery finish on here is just an oversprite on the outside, so this does not transfer onto the lips. You can see since I've swatched it, it's not on the actual lipstick itself it's just a little decorative spray on the outside but the lipstick itself is actually really nice i'm surprised by how comfy and opaque it is now this is a matte formula so it is going to be longer wearing but not completely transfer proof the last lip product is this midnight kiss lip contour kit this is by far my least favorite of the lip products. First of all, the lip liner is one of these wooden pencils that you have to sharpen. I always find those to be very uncomfortable and just not my favorite thing to apply. So I said, okay, I'm just going to skip out on that. I'll just put on the liquid lipstick. Since I'm not wearing this out all day anyway, it'll be fine. And let me tell you, this liquid lipstick smells so bad. I could hardly tolerate applying it. It smells like a burnt plastic mixed with paint. It is such an offensive odor. I could not wait to take it off. I just can't tell you how much I don't recommend just this one particular lip product. Next, let's move on because I'm still upset thinking about how that lipstick smells. This is the Terror Transformation Liquid Liner Set. It's priced at $12. I don't see these anywhere individually, so... You gotta get them all if you want these. This applicator will definitely give you precision. It is a very stiff little brush tip and both the white and the black are, I think, just fine. I'm not a big liquid liner user, so I don't have much to offer in the way of praise or criticism, but I can tell you that this red formula was very chunky. And I mean, if you're going for a certain type of 
special effects, that would probably be great. But I have a feeling that's not necessarily the intention. I just think, I don't know if I got a dud, but it's it's really chunky. It's not it's not pleasant. Let's move on to the final piece in this collection we're going to talk about. This is the Twisted Fantasy color palette. This is priced at $12 US dollars. It has this cool shifty graphic on the front. The one criticism I have as far as packaging and appearance goes, the little stamps in here clearly look like butterflies. I wish they were more moth-like in their appearance to match the appearance on the front cover. But I will say I am very impressed by the performance and the formulas in here. I posted about this palette on my Instagram a couple days ago and somebody mentioned in the comments, which it is totally within their rights to have a different opinion, but they said that the shimmers were trash and that this palette was awful and they had to return it. So I went into these swatches and the subsequent look thinking that this palette was just going to be absolutely awful. I mean, look, it's a $12 palette. It's a drugstore palette. It would make sense that it would not be great, but let me tell you, these shimmers, for me anyway, have been so beautiful, so foily. Some of them are not best applied with a brush, but that can be said of a lot of shimmers, in my opinion, even more high-end or more expensive indie brands. I find the mattes to be not my particular favorite formula. These are that really powdery soft and not really rich in your face pigment type of mattes, which I don't love. I think some people will prefer that if they don't like a super heavily pigmented, like buttery, knock you out matte type of formula. That's not this. These are softer, more buildable, more of a powdery formula that I don't necessarily love. And you'll see as we work through this look that I had some trouble with these being a little bit patchy at first. I really did have to work harder to get an even blend, particularly with this one. None of these shadows have shade names. They're just numbered on the back of the palette. So I'm just giving you the number of the shade I'm using in case you wanted to recreate this look. I definitely struggled to get this shade number six to not be too patchy. It just didn't want to stick to certain parts of my lid. So what I did was I took the lighter lavender shade. This is not great as far as appearing on the skin for me. It doesn't really show up, but it did work well to help blend and even out this little patchy spot and it did eventually resolve. So yeah, like I said, just not my favorite type of matte formula. I think somebody who likes softer, more layered wash of color type of mattes will probably appreciate this formula more. But for me, the shimmers are much more up my alley. I'm not too mad though because I feel like the mattes ended up performing as a great little basis for what will end up being an incredibly, incredibly shimmery look. One of my favorite shades in the palette is this shade number nine. It's such an interesting greenish gunmetal. It has some gold and silver. It definitely has a black base, but it just has a really interesting look and feel. It's a super soft, foily, buttery type of shimmer. It's very, very sparkly. I love this color. It's definitely one of my favorites in the palette alongside this insanely foiled bright silver shade. I love a really in-your-face blinding silver metallic shade and this is fulfilling all of my shimmery, shimmery needs. Once I started with the shimmers, I absolutely could not stop. Then I mixed these two darker colors because I wanted more contrast between the little spotlight parts of the eye. And I actually will end up going back and darkening even further later on. Here I'm just adding a little bit more depth to the crease and making sure that everything's coming together nice and smoothly. Then I'm going to take what is the most sheer shimmer in the palette. You could see from the swatches, this is definitely a sparkly topper type of shade, which is why I decided to go in and 
do the whole brow bone area. I just wanted this to be a very shifty, sparkly, spooky, catch the light type of look. Next, I'm taking this magenta shimmer. I'm laying a little bit of that down first. Then I used this bright purple ColourPop BFF cream gel liner in the lower waterline. And then I set that and smudged out again with that shade number eight. And now I'm using this dark black matte shade just to add a little bit more depth, a little bit more contrast to the halo effect in that spotlight eye. Then I went back with my little shimmery topper shade and just absolutely drenched the lower part of the inner corner. I didn't want to blow out the inner corner with a bright like I usually do. I wanted to kind of drag it down and blend down into the purple on that lower waterline. Curled my lashes, added my beloved L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. That's the finished look. This will look really, really cool with some false lashes too, but I absolutely love how this turned out. I had very low expectations for this palette, and I think that the palette is my favorite thing in the collection. Absolutely, the shimmers have blown my mind. I also like the lip oil and the black bullet lipstick. The other things I could really live without, the liners and the lip stain are just so, so for me. And the black liquid lipstick was a hard, hard no. But I love this eye look. It's so cute. That's it for my thoughts on this collection. I would love to hear what you think about this Twisted Fantasy collection. Are you interested? Have you already picked these up? Have you seen them in store? Do you have a completely different opinion for me? That definitely happens. We all just have different preferences, different formulas we like, different colors we like. We definitely don't always have to agree. I always appreciate hearing your perspectives on things and your experiences too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I should have posed for a thumbnail with the black lips on. That would have been more impactful probably. Maybe I'll do one of those little like blotty things with the lip oil and then this like in the center. Does that look weird? Hold on, I'm still working on it. Give me a second. I just don't like the shade of this. I wish it was darker and more like blood red, you know? It smells like fruit punch though. Okay, hold on, let me dab it. Give me, give me a second, I'm working on it. Is that cuter or does it look crazy? Well, it's gonna have to do now because we're, here we are. Sit here. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't good. Star in an a, a, a. I'm gonna. A, <laughs> uh, why can't I just speak? I don't. Huh? There's one thing about me. I love a bright silver eyeshadow. Just a bright, shining silver eyeshadow smacked all over my lids. I love that. Where was I? I am repeating myself and annoying myself. Okay, get it together. Shake it off. Uh, it's not the first time I've worn black lipstick on my channel and I have actually worn black lips. It looked black, but it was like super, super dark ox blood, but it looks in the photos and stuff, it looks black to an event and it felt awesome. I felt like Morticia Adams, and that is goals. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells so bad. It smells like the most chemical, offensive paint. Ugh, ugh, it smells like burning plastic and paint mixed together. Do I have to put this on my face? Is something wrong with this? This might be a really bad idea, but I'm gonna do it since I already refused to put on a planner. Okay, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Ugh. I don't like this one. I don't like it. It smells really bad. Let me just go back to this lip oil after. Really close to being matching nails. If you can see this cool toned little lavender in the corner here and on the brow bone, it's really close to being matching nails. I think I did pretty well. Does anybody else hear that sound? The heck is that? Okay, it's fine. Um, anyway, I think I'm losing it. Honestly, I'm surprised it took this long. 
this eye look though is honestly really cute really cute okay that's it i'm going to wrap up filming for the day i'm gonna go do my duolingo i'm gonna go check my pokemon go i'm gonna go probably should go check on my family see what they're doing i'm sure they're fine mom of the year um yeah thanks for hanging out thanks for watching you're a peach i appreciate you and i hope that you have a sparkly spooky good time and i love your face okay bye Thank you.